Welcome to Table for One. I'm the narrator, and today I'll be playing Terraforming Mars. As usual, I'm going to use the Prelude and Colonies expansions, and I'll be playing on the standard board today. Uh, but I will be using Cyberdyne Systems as the corporation. Um, this is obviously fan-made, and I'm the fan. <laughs> um, this is the fourth out of six uh, corporations that I made based off of different science fiction franchises. Um, so out of all the six I made, I think this one is going to be the most challenging. Um, not to say that I won't be able to do it, but um, I'm definitely nervous about this one. So you're going to find out along with me uh, what it's like to play as Cyberdyne. Let's get rolling. set up now for terraforming mars um as i mentioned i'll be playing as cyberdyne systems uh which uh, is a corporation that i made um so let's get that set up i start with 33 mega credits and three steel production uh, before I get too far into this, I'll also mention I've got a, uh, I've got the baby monitor uh, off screen here. I don't expect uh, we'll hear much, but we might. So now you know. Um, so the effect for Cyberdyne Systems um, is that when any city tile is placed on Mars, um, or I'm sorry, when not any, but when I, when whoever is Cyberdyne System places a city tile on Mars, temperature goes up two steps, and then energy uh, is not converted into heat during production. It remains energy. Um, so my thinking was when I made that, that the cost to place a city is 25 mega credits, and the cost to do two asteroids as standard projects is 28. Um, so placing a city would be three mega credits cheaper than raising the temperature twice. Um, so that seems sort of fair, but without the energy turning into heat, you've got to be a lot more conscious about actual heat production because uh, you can't just build a bunch of cities. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to build some, but uh, you got to have another way to raise the temperature. Um, and usually I use some of that you know, some of those mega credits, a, a lot of them to place greeneries rather than cities. Um, so I don't, I don't really know how this is going to go. Uh, I think this might be the toughest of the corporations that I made, but we'll see. Um, you know, there's no fate, but what we make, right? <laughs> so, um, that's terrible. <laughs> um, and there's building tag on this corporation card as well. Uh, let's take a look first at the colonies. Um, so we have Titan with floaters, Callisto with energy, Io with heat, and Ganymede with plants. Um, chances are I'm going to get rid of Titan. I have a hard time ever imagining keeping Titan with the floaters. Uh, I don't have the Venus Next expansion, which I know uses a lot of floaters. Uh, so the only ones I have are the ones that came with the colonies cards. Um, so unless I got like a lot of them in these starting 10 cards, it's going to be Titan that goes. Uh, next we'll look at the prelude cards. Metal rich asteroid. Looks pretty good. Supplier. Mohole excavation. And mining operations. Wow. Um, so mohole excavation, I'm almost certainly going to get for the two heat production. Um, and that'll give me another steel production as well. Uh, mining operations is interesting. Two more steel production. That would get me, assuming I take mohole, 
uh, up to six steel production per turn, which is quite a bit. Um, metal rich asteroid gives me just a cash infusion at the beginning of titanium and steel raises the temperature one. And then supplier is going to give me energy and steel. So I'm getting steel no matter what. Um, and that does seem thematic to me. Um, so that's good. Uh, supplier would give me steel and then energy production. I don't know that I want necessarily a lot of energy production knowing that it won't turn into heat. But I've got to be real conscious about heat. Um, my other thought was, I, I don't know how many, you know, I didn't do, <laughs> again, I did all these uh, sci-fi corporations um, just as thought experiments. I didn't actually play test any of these or you know, look at the other cards in the deck uh, to get any info. Uh, I just sort of thought about the game. Um, my point is I'm going to need to rely on some of the project cards that build cities as an effect. Um, and I, I suspect, like, I feel like there's not very many, but I also feel like I usually pass on them. And I suspect that if I'm looking for them, there's actually more uh, then maybe I realize, and I think I'm gonna have to bank on that. Um, and again, just going off of, I don't know, sort of memory. Um, I feel like a lot of those cards are building cards or have building tags so I can use steel, uh, to help pay for them. So I'm probably leaning towards Mohol excavation and mining operations, but let's take a look at the 10 starting cards and start making some choices um, water splitting plant let's see just slide these out of the way for a moment all right Hmm. Well, you know, I was I was immediately going to throw away pets as the first thing I did, but looking at it, it's a card I don't usually play. The effect is when any city tile is placed, add an animal to this card, and you get victory points for it. Um, I intend to build a lot of cities. <laughs> That might actually make sense. Again, my, my top concern is always just managing to terraform Mars before the game's over. Um, and I feel like focusing on victory points when I haven't even picked my <laughs> starting hand yet is perhaps a little premature. Um, but that one just, I think, makes sense for this corporation. Now, what is this one? Field capped city. Increase mega credit production two steps. Increase energy production one step. Gain three plants and place a city. So this is what I'm talking about. I, this is a card that is not really on my radar. Uh, probably have never played it, but it'll allow me to place a city, and it has a building tag. Uh, so this is the type of stuff I need. Uh, farming. It's a good card, but it's going to be a really long time before I can play it. Probably not a wise investment right now. Development center. Spend an energy to draw a card. That might be a good idea because as I start, I mean, oh, I don't know. If I have energy production, it would be a good, um, a good way to use some of it since it won't turn into heat. Uh, the other obvious choice would be for trade. But I don't necessarily know that I'll have that production. I think I will, though. But these three cards here all have negative. Uh, this one's negative four. Energy production. I don't think that one's going to happen. Requires two power tags. Decrease any energy production one step and increase your own one step. What have I picked so far? Field cap cities would give me one tag. 
with fuel generators. Mega credit production goes down, energy goes up. Probably pick that up, and that's my two tags, so I could play Power Supply Consortium. Rad Chem Factory. Decrease energy production, raise terraform rating. <sighs> what is this? So right now, I've got energy going up three. I don't think I want it to go down. Oh, use three energy to raise the oxygen. That could be pretty helpful. A lot of building tags. Great escarpment requires that you have a steel production. Decrease any steel production one and increase yours one. That might be a good idea too. That's a lot of cards. Getting rid of three, which means I'm purchasing seven for 21 mega credits. That's substantial. Um, I'll get rid of Titan like I thought I probably would. Uh, so we're spending a lot of time over at Jupiter, I guess. Io, Ganymede. I kind of want to put them, you know, in order, like of how they orbit. But maybe I'll put them in order for, uh, you know, to match my board. Plant energy, heat. No, I can't. <laughs> that won't sit right with me. They've got to be in orbital order. Maybe we'll bring them a little closer so I don't have to reach so far. Um, so let's look at these again one more time. Hmm. Supplier's looking pretty good. I'm not going to do metal rich asteroid. I've got to do molehole between these two supplier and mining operations. Now I'm kind of thinking I want the energy production. If I got Supplier, could I kick out some of these cards? Maybe get rid of Power Supply Consortium and Fuel Generators. That'd stop me from having my Mega Credits go down. So then I would end up with three Energy Production. One with Field Capped City and two with Supplier. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Save me nine mega credits. And from losing a mega credit production. Okay, so how many cards did I end up buying? One, two, three, four, five. Fifteen mega credits. All right, so Cyberdyne Systems with Supplier. That's two energy production and four steel. And then molehole excavation, one steel production, two heat production, and two heat. And now I can get started. Um, So 
So development center, water splitting plant, I uh, need two oceans. And development center, that's the way to spend energy later. Field cap city, we'll put a city down. I probably want to play that after pets. And increase steel production. It might be pets and great escarpment consortium. This time. So let's go ahead and <laughs> let's put pets down. Um, well, I guess we'll let's start with Great Escarpment. Great Escarpment Consortium uh, requires that you have steel production, which I do. Decrease any steel production one step. So we'll do the imaginary opponent, and then increase your own one step. So that card is six. Cost of six. No tags on that card. So whether I, I've got 12 mega credits left, whether I pay for pets now or later, it's 10 mega credits either way. I don't think anything's going to change. Um, but you know, it's probably better to, better to wait. Just in case going into the next generation, I get a card that, you know, makes animal or you know, makes earth cards cost less or some sort of animal card bonus. So I'm not going to play that right now. Okay, so that's the end of this generation. Let's do production. Uh, 14 mega credits on the terraform track and then minus two. So I get 12 mega credits. Uh, five steel, three energy, and two heat. Uh, the only other thing I need to do is move the production tracks up on the colonies, and then generation marker goes up to two. So let's see the next four cards. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Card I'd usually ignore, underground cities. Uh, energy production goes down to, steel production goes up to, place a city. I'm gonna need that. What is this? Requires two science tags. I've got one in my hand. Uh, action draw a card. Oh, that's pretty good costs or it's a building tag so steel that could be a nice card draw mechanism it is expensive to play but i think i'll have some steel i think i will get this adapted lichen increase your plant production so it's going to cost 12 mega credits with acquisition mm -hmm. it's kind of a lot Spend 12 mega credits now and I'll get one greenery out of it between now and the end. I mean, I guess it's almost, it's close to half the cost of standard project. I guess I'll get it. And then asteroid with the acquisition is going to cost a little more than the standard ad asteroid, but uh, I don't get any benefit by removing plants. I'll get two titanium, but I don't have any space cards right now. There's probably going to be one later that I'll want, uh, but I don't. I'm not going to get this one. 
Uh, so that's going to cost me nine. Can't play subcrust measurements. So I don't have the science tags. Underground city will need to be after pets. Adapted lichen could be any time. I guess it should be soon if I'm going to get the full benefit of it. All right, so let's play it. Nine mega credits. Raise plant production one step. Well, I've managed to spend a fair amount of mega credits so far, and I haven't accomplished much. <laughs> I do have three energy, so I could trade. I could spend three energy to trade with IO and get four heat, which would raise the temperature one step. And I think I'm going to have a lot of energy later. Well, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really sure. How did I even end up with three energy? I got two production from supplier. Where'd the third come from? It wasn't this, was it? No, that's steel. What the heck did I do that gave me one energy? Am I losing my mind? There's n oh god, there's nothing on the board. Um, I think I'm losing my mind. I think I gave myself too much. Um, but it's a good reminder that I once again forgot to put the starting cities. 13. Sixteen. One of these games I am going to remember in the beginning. Um, all right, well then I don't have enough energy to trade. Um, so I guess that's it for this turn. Uh, so energy does not become heat. Energy stays energy. Mega credit wise. I get 12 in total. Another five steel. One plant, two energy, two heat. Production tracks go up on the colonies. Generation marker moves forward and let's grab four more cards. Um, I don't think any of these are specifically helpful. There are some science tags. Did I need one? I will need another science tag to play subcrust measurements at some point. 
Uh, it's not going to be warp drive because that require, requires five science tags. I don't think I'm going to do imported nutrients, four plants, and four microbes to another card. I won't be able to make use of that. Refugee camps. This, that decreases your money production. I don't want to do that. And then Inventor's Guild. Look at the top card and either buy it or discard it. No. Free cards, sure. Buying more cards, no. Okay. Uh, it's not such a bad thing, though, because I got more cards than I can play right now anyway. Let's start with pets. 10 mega credits. Start by adding one animal to this card. When any city tile is placed, add an animal. Okay. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, so that's twenty-eight. So we're going to start with Field Capped City. So it's 28 mega credits. 29. Increase mega credit production by 2. Really needed that. Energy production by 1. Gain three plants. And place a city tile. And where am I going to place it? I think right here, I'll get two plants for that because I'm Cyberdyne and I built a city increase the temperature two steps which raises terraform rating two steps and I placed a city so I get a pet there's gonna have to be a lot a lot of actions like that Underground City is next. That's going to decrease the energy production by two. Io is on six right now. Can't really see this. Yeah, it's heat production, if you build a colony there. Uh, I can't afford to build a colony, so I don't know why I'm entertaining that. Um, but I can still go there and get six heat. Let's spend three energy. Move the trade fleet to IO, get six heat. And now spend eight heat to raise the temperature one step, which increases heat production. Okay, seven mega credits left. Won't be playing any cards with that. I've got six plants right now. So that's going to be it for this turn. Energy remains energy. Uh, I get 17 mega credits. So that's a, a significant raise over last time. 
another five steel, one plant, three energy, three heat. These tracks all go up. Trade fleet returns home. Generation marker goes up, and let's see the next four cards. Uh, ore processor is kind of similar to water splitting. I would spend one more energy and get a titanium for it. I don't... Hmm. I mean, if I get my energy production up high enough, I can do two oxygen per turn that way, which would be a big deal. Hmm. Research cordon coordination. It's come up in my last couple games too, and it's been pretty helpful to have that wild. I know it would let me play that science tag I need. Deep well heating increases energy production and raises the temperature. Food factory decreases plant production one step, but increases mega credits four. It would cost me 15 to acquire and play. So four generations before it pays off. And then I've got another four after that. That's not so bad. I'm a little concerned about spending too much right now and not terraforming enough. Uh, I don't want to take the engine building too far, but I kind of want all four of those. Cyberdyne. Can't be timid. Now to make effective use of these, this one will have to be pretty soon. I'm going to have to start getting the energy up. Deep well heating, and that has a building tag, so I can use my five steel, which is 10 mega credits. And then I need another three. So increase energy production one step, raise the temperature one step. Only got nine mega credits left and no more steel. So I've got enough to play research coordinator or coordination, sorry. Um, go ahead and play it. I've got a wild tag now. I 
I could trade again. There's no standard projects I can do if, well, I guess trading is a standard project. Um, if I go to Ganymede, then I can place a greenery. I mean, yeah, it's better than nothing. Spend three energy to trade with Ganymede. Gain four plants. Um, so I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm just gonna spend my eight for the greenery, and I've got three left over. We'll put it right here, which gains me one plant. So I'm halfway to the next greenery. Um, let's mark it. Oxygen. And then decrease production in Ganymede down to zero. Okay, that's uh, that's all I'm going to be able to do here, right? Right. Okay. Uh, Nineteen mega credits. Five steel. One plant. Four energy and three heat, which gets me up to ten. So, as usual, I am using a player marker to represent eight for either heat or plant, so it's easier to keep track of and spend. Uh, colony production goes back up. The trade fleet returns. And generation marker goes up to five Yowza. Okay, four cards. I don't think I want the investment loan. Not doing the math on it, but it's going to cost me six plus whatever I lose. I only get ten. Uh, Mangrove is going to be way too late in the game before I can play that. I'm not spending money on it now. Electro Catapult. Energy production goes down. Spend a plant or a steel to get seven mega credits, which is interesting. I think I've got enough house tags, though, that I don't need to be turning steel into mega credits. But that is really useful. And what is spaceport colony? Besides expensive, requires a colony, place a colony. Um, I like it, but that's not a good strategic move for this corporation. So I saved a little money by not spending any <laughs> this time. I think I needed to play Food Factory a while ago. I better do that now. So that's 12. So I'll, I'll use mega credits for this. I'll save the steel for the other card. Plant production goes down one, which does hurt a little, but mega credit production goes up four. I 
and I've got to do underground city now. So this is five steel. Whoops, that's ten mega credits. And I need another eight. So here's ten. I need to change. This money's going fast. So energy production goes down two steps. Steel production goes up two steps. And place a city tile. for that. And raise the temperature two steps. One, two, which raises heat production. Uh, terraform rating. Got to do more of that. City tiles, big deal. I can spend this 8 heat to raise the temperature again. <sighs> hmm. I need to get some oceans down. in a pretty big way. I need more plant production. Um, money is tight. I just, I don't have a, I don't have a penny to spare anywhere. Oh, but I placed another city, so hey. Get another pet. Well, shoot. That's it for this generation. I'm not feeling super confident. I mean, the temperature is kind of high for this, this stage of the game, but not a single ocean yet, which is really unusual. Uh, let's go to production. So, mega credits uh, is going to be 26. And steel is 7. Two energy. make change and for heat uh, production at all the colonies now we're on generation six let's take a look at the cards Hmm. Giant Ice Asteroid would do some things that I want, but that's going to be way expensive. I have no titanium production. The colonies won't help with that either. Price-wise, though, it's just slightly more expensive than doing two aquifers and I get like two free uh, heat bumps for it. What is this? Gain one plant or add two microbes to another card. No, I don't think so. 
And then I feel like I'm really just bouncing around a lot with energy. Do I want to spend... I want to spend this money. Lightning Harvest is going to need science tags. If I play my other science cards along with the wild, I'll have enough energy and mega credit production. I don't know if that's worth it. Then Lunar Beam, I like the heat and energy. Don't like the mega credit loss. I guess that's. You could have assumed those would be my feelings on those things. <laughs> Shoot, I feel like I'm... I'm really locked into energy. I need to stop buying cards. I'm getting myself into trouble. But I'm going to buy those three cards. That might cost me the game. Then again, it might win me the game. Ah, shoot, I can't do water splitting yet. Okay, here's what I'm here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play ore processor first. It's thirteen. Here's twelve in steel and one. And <clears throat> I'm gonna use it, I think. So that first. So I spent four energy to gain one titanium and one oxygen. Now I have three energy left. I'm going to spend it to trade with Callisto because it's maxed. So three energy goes away, and then I gain 13 energy. So I'll just, that goes, comes back. I need another 10. Oops. Um, so I've got 20 mega credits left, plus two in steel. I can't play Lightning Harvest because of tags. I need to play Subcrust measurements first. And before that, I need to play Development Center. Water Splitting Plant, I can't play until after Giant Ice Asteroid, which I can't afford right now. And then there's Lunar Beam. seeing that mega credit production go down, but I think I'm playing Lunar Beam for 13. So mega credit production goes down too. Heat production goes up too. Energy production goes up too.
I'm starting to feel like I have some sort of engine running now. So that's it for this turn. There's nothing else I can do. Uh, so we'll do production. 25 mega credits. Uh, seven steel. Four energy. And six heat. That brings me to 12 heat. It's okay, I'll deal with it in a minute. Uh, I could take this marker back. These production all go up. Oh, Callisto goes to the bottom and then goes up. Trade fleet goes home. Generation seven. Let's see the cards. I hope I hate them. I gotta stop buying them. All right, I don't need the heat production from Soletta. It's super expensive. Cool card. I know that's not going to work. What is Noctis farming? It requires negative 20 temperature, which I have. Increase mega credit production, gain two plants. Um, that's not going to be worth it at this stage in the game. Trade envoys, I remember, is increasing... Uh, the trade track before you trade. What is this other one? Rim freighters. When you trade, you pay one less resource for it. Wow. <laughs> so you can save one mega credit, or you can save one titanium or one energy. So I could trade with two energy. I'm not going to get trade envoys. Rim freighters could be helpful, but I don't think there's I don't think it's gonna be that helpful, and there's not that much game left. I'm not spending the mega credits. We're on generation seven, and I'm yet to place an ocean. Son of a gun! I'm still not gonna place an ocean. This giant Earth asteroid costs thirty six. I've got thirty two. Uh, plus three titanium. This is not enough. Uh, unless, you know what, wait, I can do ore processor now. So let's spend four energy. To gain one titanium. And increase the oxygen level one step. Okay, now giant ice asteroid costs 36, and here's six in titanium. Now I need another 30, so I'll have two left over. 10, 20, 30. Uh, remove six plants from any player, so not me. Increase the temperature two steps, one, two, and place two oceans. So it's going to be four steps on the terraform rating. And those oceans are going here and here, which gets me two mega credits and four plants. Um, so let's spend eight plants to place a greenery. We'll go 
go ahead and put it here, which gets me two mega credits and one plant. There's two oceans. I can play water splitting, which is 12 mega credits, which I can pay for entirely with steel. And now I can spend three energy to raise the oxygen one step. Also got plenty of heat here. Let's spend, here's 10, get two change. Eight heat to raise the temperature one step. And I'm just gonna be one mega credit short on being able to play development center. four plants, four heat. I have 10 energy. Um, so I could trade. If I went to Ganymede, I'd be a plant short of being able to do anything useful. I could go to IO and raise the temperature one step. I think I should do that. 10, I get seven back, energy-wise. And so the trade fleet goes to IO, where I get eight heat. This track goes down. I'm gonna pay myself eight, which I then spend to raise the temperature one step. I think that was worth it. Yeah, just one mega credit short. Okay. Well, that's all I can do. So we'll go ahead and do production. Let me um, again make change. Um, so 34 mega credits. Seven steel. Four energy. And six heat which gets me up to 10, two and eight. Do production at the colonies. Move the trade fleet back. Take these markers off these cards and move the generation marker up to eight. Um, I'm feeling a little more confident looking at the board now. I still have a lot of work to do on oceans. But oxygen and temperature are really moving along pretty pretty good so far. Let's see these next cards. Okay, I'm really intrigued by robotic workforce. Um, because I can duplicate 
on any building card, the production box, which includes Mohol excavation and my corporation card. I don't see why not. What? Let me go through these other cards. What other candidates are there? Underground City is going to lower the energy too. I don't want to do that. Uh, food Factory. I can't lower plant production because I don't have any. Deep Well Heating just gives me an energy production. Field Capped City gives me two mega credits and one energy. It might be tough to beat. One, uh, yeah. Two mega credits and one energy. That's that's tempting. While I'm thinking about that, uh, I see Titan floating launch pads. I'm about I don't know, adding floaters to Jovian cards or looks like trading. I don't think that's useful. Decrease any plant production one step so I could ignore mine and increase energy production two. This is negative victory points. I think I could put that energy production to work though. Need more oxygen, but I'll have that in a moment. And what is fuel factory? Decrease energy production, increase titanium and mega credit production. No, I don't think I want that. I want robotic workforce. I think I will take biomass combustors too. Sorry, Mars. You need a little carbon release though. Gotta pay for those. Okay, what order do I want to do this in? Gosh, I put all those cards away so nice and I knew I would forget what robotic workforce was going to do for me. Mm hmm. Well, let's let's go back and look. Darn it! Two mega credits, one energy productions. Okay, so let's do robotic workforce while that's in my head. Cost nine. Mega credit production goes up two. Energy goes up one. By copying field capped city. That was a science tag too, which unlocks some of these other cards a little sooner. Let's do biomass combustors though. So it's gonna cost two steel. I just can't, I can't, I gotta fix it. <laughs> it's gotta be at least better. Okay, um, so any plant production goes down one, which is gonna be the, uh, oh, no, well, JK, bring these back. I don't have the oxygen for this, uh, but I will in a second. So let's, let's get there. Let's spend four energy first. 
to gain one titanium and raise the oxygen one step. Okay, that was not a big, as big a deal as I thought it was for a second. Back to biomass combustion. Now I can spend two steel, decrease plant production of the opponent, and then increase energy production two steps. So now it's at seven, which is enough to play both of these oxygen cards every turn. Uh, so let's play the other one. Spend another three energy. Let's raise the oxygen again. That's really helping me out so I don't have to buy greenery. So in theory, I have the, instead of the money I would put towards greeneries, I could put towards cities. I haven't actually done that project yet, but I do have 25 mega credits now. Uh, I can spend eight heat here to raise the temperature. I want to get lightning harvest down as quick as I can, so. I'm going to play development center. Here's 10 steel and one mega credit for 11. Which allows me to spend an energy to draw a card. I don't know that I'm going to do that at this moment but it does give me another science tag. So between development center, robotic workforce, and then the wild on research coordination, that's three science tags. I can play lightning harvest for eight mega credits. Increase energy production one step and mega credit production one step. And I can just afford subcrust measurements as well. Uh, it costs 20, here's 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 using steel. And that allows me to draw a card for free. Now before I get to those, my, my card drawing cards, I think I will spend three energy to trade with Ganymede, where I get four plants, and I currently have four plants, so we're going to spend them right away. Eight plants become a greenery. really trying to maximize these greeneries getting me some uh some mega credits by being near oceans it's just not happening go here which gets me one plant that brings the oxygen up once which brings the temperature up once so terraform rating two Okay, now I can for free draw a card. Um, that's purely a victory point play, and I'm past the oxygen require or the oxygen level for it anyway. So I'm immediately going to sell that for a mega credit. And now since I got my 
energy production high enough, I can spend this one energy to draw another card. Moss. I don't have the three oceans to play it. it requires three ocean tiles and that you lose one plant. Increase your plant production one step. I don't know if that's going to make a whole heck of a difference either way. I guess I'll keep it for now. I can always sell it later. It's not going to decrease in value. So I've got one plant, two heat, amount of energy. I've got a titanium I can't do anything with. I've already traded. I've got one mega credit. I'm kind of, I'm out of things to do this turn. So let's go to production. Um, I get five mega credits plus 37. And seven steel, no titanium or plants, eight energy, and six heat plus the two I have makes eight heat. I don't know if you're hearing that, but baby monitor is going off. Go back to sleep, buddy. Return these from the cards and tracks go up. Return the fleet. Generation marker goes up. So we're in the last third of the game. And I'm, I'm really feeling confident on oxygen and temperature. I am very concerned on oceans. Let's take a look at these next cards. Um, don't think I'm going to go into tons of detail. I just don't think I need any of these cards. So let's let them all go. So the only card I have is Moss and I don't have enough oceans to play it. I can spend eight heat, raise the temperature one step. And I can spend three energy and also spend four energy to gain a titanium and raise the oxygen two steps between those two cards. I might as well take my free card draw. Place a colony. I mean, 12 mega credits is a good price to place a colony, but that's not what I need to spend money on. So I'm going to sell that. I have one energy left that I could spend on another card draw. Or I could hold on to it, accumulate three, and trade again. I'm out of uses for, um, for my steel. Yeah, just making sure no building tag there. So what do I have? 30, 40, 4. I have 44 mega credits. I can do two aquifers. Let's 
Seems like a good thing to do, right? Let's do two aquifers. It's going to cost me 36. Thirty-six. Two aquifers here and here. Just gonna give me four mega credits and two plants. I guess I could play Moss now. Sure, what the heck. Lose a plant, gain a plant production. <coughs> so, one more temperature and I get another ocean. So I've got to place four more and I've got to raise the oxygen. The oxygen is going to happen without any more greeneries just over the next two generations by spending energy. So that's covered. I just spent 36 and I'm going to need to put four more, so it's going to cost me 72. And at my current income, that'll only take two generations. Three more productions going into the next three generations will get me 18 heat, which is two temperature steps. So I've got to raise that three more. Money's going to be a little tight. <laughs> but I think I've got the funds to do this just purely through mega credits at this point, which is a little shocking. So I am going to spend this energy then. Do another card draw. The next card costs eight mega credits less. I'll well, hold on to this for now. See what the next cards are. Okay, that's that's it for this generation. With my eight mega credits, I don't think I can do anything. So uh, I get five mega credits plus forty-two. Another seven steel. One plant, eight energy, six heat. Take the markers off of these cards. Raise production at the colonies. Move the generation marker up. That was a big generation. Um, at least mentally, <laughs> uh, mindset is different now. Wow. So Convoy from Europa will start there if I purchase that one. 
the net cost will be 18, which is the cost of an aquifer anyway, and I get another card out of it. So that makes sense. Uh, Lake Marineris makes sense, and I'll be able to play that just after raising the heat one step. Um, so raising the heat one step will get me my fifth ocean. Six, seven, eight. This would be the ninth. Let's deal with this one. Mohole Lake. Play an ocean tile, raise the temperature one step, gain three plants. And then I can add a microbe to another, a microbe or animal to another card, which is helpful with pets. Big asteroid. Raise the temperature two steps and gain four titanium, remove up to four plants from any player. <clears throat> and I can use indentured workers to make one of those cheaper too. I'm going to buy all four. There's, there's a lot of synergy, and at this point in the game, it's like exactly the stuff I need. So it's going to cost 12. I'm going to play Big Asteroid before Convoy. And I need to play Mohole before Lake Marineris. And I'll play Indentured Servant first, which costs nothing, and it'll save me eight mega credits on this card. Uh, so that brings the cost down to uh, what is it? Eight nineteen. I've got six here, so the cost is now thirteen. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I didn't do the math on whether or not I can afford all this stuff, but I, I know in the scheme of things I can afford it. So I get four titanium, take four plants from an imaginary opponent, and raise the temperature two steps, which gets me an ocean. So three terraform rating. We'll go ahead and put this ocean I guess here, so I get two mega credits on a plant. Actually, you know what? Oh well, yeah, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. Okay, um, now I can play Convoy from Europa. It costs 15, and I've got 12 in titanium here. So I need three more. Five, four, three. And I place an ocean. We'll go right here. Grab, oh, I guess it makes more sense to go here. Two mega credits and two plants. And I draw a card. Lunar mining. Increase titanium productions one step for every two earth tags you have, including this. One, two, three earth tags. Uh, I don't need the titanium anyway. Selling this. I guess I could play this in either order, but I'll play this first. Mohole Lake. It costs 31, but it has a building tag. So I've got 14 steel. So that's 28, 29, 30, 31. Um, 
gain three plants. Let's start with that. Two, three, four, five, six. That's going to leave me with nine plants. So I'll just make change. The tyranny of the copper cubes. Um, place an ocean tile and raise the temperature. Do the temperature, ocean, terraform rating. This ocean's going here. Two plants. And I can take that action, add an animal to another card. And I can still play Lake Mariners for 18 mega credits. Uh, place two ocean tiles. Mariner's trench is already filled up there, though, thematically. Uh, we're going to take three cards. I definitely don't want these first two. I don't recognize this one. Martian Zoo requires two city tiles in play, which I have. When you play an earth tag, place an animal here. Gain one mega credit per animal here. Oh, that's not that great. I'll keep it though, because I'm going to have some extra steel. I might just play it for the victory point. Okay, I still have other things I can do. Those are just the four new cards. Um, I guess before I keep going, why don't I take this free action and draw another card? Windmills. Increase energy production. Do I really need more energy? No, but it is a victory point. I can pay for it with steel. <coughs> Let's spend three energy to raise the oxygen one step. And while we're at it, we'll pay four energy to gain a titanium and raise the oxygen one step. So that's two steps for oxygen. Gosh, is that generation marker right? Do I really have two more? I'm not sure if it's right. Uh, I might just terraform Mars on generation 11 to be sure that I haven't given myself an extra generation. Because now I feel that I'm way ahead. Um, hmm. I'll review the footage and put some put some notes, but I thought this was going to be way harder than it has been. Certainly, there's probably been some luck of the draw. I didn't build as many cities as I thought I would, although I did utilize the cards. I didn't do any standard project cities. I thought there'd be a lot more of that. Hmm. Well, let's uh, let's keep going anyway. Um, I'm going to place the greenery using these eight plants. We'll go right there to get two plants and six mega credits.
Hmm. And... I think I'm going to need an asteroid. So let's just get it out of the way. 14 mega credits, standard project. I have one energy left over, let's spend it. Get another card. <sighs> I don't really need more uh, steel production. I'm just gonna sell this right away. So I have no more card actions. Oops, I forgot to I place that greenery. I didn't do that. Didn't do that. Didn't do that. Um, six mega credits, five plants, six heat, a titanium. I can't trade. Can't do any standard projects. No more card actions. I could play windmills, I guess. But I'm not going to right now. Let's just go ahead and do production. Five mega credits plus 54. Uh, seven steel. One plant. Eight energy. And another six heat. Clear these cards of the markers. Colony tracks go up. Generation marker goes up to 11, uh, which is correct, unless I somewhere skipped one. So we're going to pretend it's 12 now anyway. Uh, let's see, four more cards. energy to increase the oxygen one step. And let's spend eight heat to raise the temperature one step. And now Mars is terraformed. So what else can I do to try and maximize points. steel, or 12 mega credits worth of steel from Martian Zoo, just for the victory point. And then here's windmills. I'll hold on to that for a second. Um, let's do Mohole Lake, add an animal to another card. Pets. 
now up to five. Nowhere near as many as I thought it might end up with. I take a free draw card action. Turn titanium into floaters or floaters into terraform. I don't have any turns to do that, so sell it immediately. And I'll spend one energy for another card. The nuke. Oh man. For Cyberdyne. We're gonna we're gonna end it on judgment day. We're gonna keep that one. We're gonna lose two points. It's completely without purpose. Um, but it's just because it's Cyberdyne, and I think it's funny. Hmm. So now... I'm going to set aside 10 mega credits for that. I'll probably do windmills. leaves me with 40, 52, 53 if I get one from the Martian Zoo, if I do greeneries, hmm. I do a greenery here, I'll get two plants and then be able to play another greenery maybe up here. And then I'll have enough to build a city on the other side of it. I think that will maximize points. Okay, so let's let's purchase a greenery for twenty three. Goes right there, it gets me four mega credits and two plants. See how those copper cubes just pile up. No oxygen, so no terraform rating. Uh, now I've got these eight plants. Spend them. Just place another greenery. No placement bonus. But that's where I want it. Now I'll place a city for 25. God, how many of these copper cubes do I have? I think I set four aside. At least, at least 20, give me five of them. Two, three, four, five. So I place a city as a standard project, which increases my credit production by one. Goes right there to give me three points. And that gets me another pet. And it would raise the temperature two steps if it wasn't already at the top. So I'm going to have eight mega credits left over. I don't think there's really anything I can do with them. Even if I trade with Ganymede, get three plants, 
I could probably pick up a couple plants with the nuclear zone. It's one, two, three, four, five. I'll have one more production, which is six. I don't think I'm placing any more greeneries. That's okay. Uh, let's do the nuclear zone. Hmm. Sorry, I was just thinking again. If I place the nuke next to three oceans, which seems uh, totally safe, uh, it'll give me six mega credits. 14 mega credits then I still really can't do anything with that I can get one more I'll get up to 15 that's well it's nowhere near 23 so it doesn't matter let's go ahead and do windmills Six mega credits, it's two is steel, and then four more. Increase energy production one step. Doesn't matter, just getting the victory point. And we're gonna end our Cyberdyne playthrough with nuclear zone. Costs 10 mega credits, which I set aside just for that. Raise temperature two steps, which I can't do, and place the special tile. And it doesn't have any rules about placement. Um, I think I can, I don't think it has to touch my other tiles necessarily. I think I can put it wherever I want. I will put it by the oceans. It seems like a Cyberdyne thing to do. Get a plant, gain six mega credits. I don't see why I wouldn't get the mega credit bonus. Boom. And that also had an earth tag. So I get one animal on this card. I can take an action to gain one mega credit per animal there. Oh, I guess the animal doesn't go away. That's interesting. And that's it. And, um, you know, the game is, is over now either way. Um, whether or not I forgot to move the track, because I, I did fully terraform this, uh, this generation anyway. So, um, I think I did it in 11 generations. I don't think I made a mistake, but, um, if I did, this was actually an overpowered corporation due to the fact that there's so much extra energy that you can find uses for, um, which I didn't really anticipate. I thought I was worried going into this, um, thinking more that I wouldn't have enough heat to get the temperature all the way up and that it would be a struggle to find the money to throw down asteroids as well, or not asteroids, but cities as well as greeneries. <clears throat> but instead I ended up using energy that didn't go away to raise the oxygen. And that was luck of the draw a little bit. Um, but then that left me with plenty of, plenty of money. I had heat production. Um, so really the money went towards the oceans. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Was this, uh, do you think the, uh, corporation Cyberdyne is overpowered? Uh, should it be tweaked or did I get lucky with the draws? You know, if I did in fact, completed it in 11 generations, I could have held back and gotten a full other generation of, uh, 
you know, just free stuff to do. I would have gotten more cards, more money. Uh, and I would have really thrown down a bunch of cities and greeneries and had a ridiculous score. Um, but to be conservative, I ended it here. So let's go ahead and total this up anyway. Oh, one other thing I did, I, I saw in the rule book, I, I guess I never noticed this before. Uh, if I'm interpreting this correctly, when you solo at the end, you actually don't do one more production. You can still continue to place greeneries using your plants. And if, you know, if, if I had seven more plants now I placed, or I don't know if I, if I placed a greenery and I, you know, got the pickup bonus for more plants and then I ended up with eight again, like I could, I could still play them until I ran out, but I don't get another production to do it. Um, I had never noticed that before. And I guess I've been playing that wrong as well. Um, let me know if, if you think that's correct or not. Um, but I saw that in the main booklet, it said you don't do the extra production on solo. And I assume that means at the end, cause I didn't really specify. It was just one sentence in there. Um, anyway, let's, uh, not do a production now and we'll total up the points that are here. Of course, no milestones and awards. Um, let's count the greeneries I've got. It's going to be a short count. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. And cities, this one gets three, this one gets three, and this one gets three. Really? How about that? Okay, so nine. And let's look at the event cards. Minus one for indentured workers. And that's it there. Definitely some minuses, which was honestly part of why I did this, because I never play the minus VP cards. And so I picked not just six corporations, but six evil corporations <laughs> to try and get me in the spirit of doing some bad things. Uh, on this pets card, one victory point for two animals. So I've got six animals there, that's three points. So I've got indentured servants and pets, good for me. Uh, Martian Zoo has one. And Subcrest Measurements has two. And that's it for the blue cards. So that's three, one, two, three. Now let's check these green ones. So minus two for the nuke, one for windmills, two for Lake Marineris, one for lightning harvest. This is a lot. Minus one for biomass combustors. One for Food Factory. And that is it. Uh, so a total score of 78. Not, uh, not the highest score I've ever had, but I don't think it's the lowest either. Um, well, that was interesting. It was definitely different. I, I'm kind of surprised I didn't play as many cities as I thought I would, but... Uh, it did get me to play those city cards that I normally pass on. The energy had a, the energy not turning into heat had a outsized effect, um, than what I expected. Um, but also I don't know that it was, I don't know, that might be a little swingy from game to game. I don't know. So, uh, if you like, you could try it out for yourself. I'll put a link in the description, but on my board game geek profile, I've uploaded the uh, image files for each of these corporations. So you can print and play your own Cyberdyne systems, um, and check it out and let me know what you think. Uh, if there was something you would do different either to the corporation, if you'd set it up differently, or if you would have played this game that I just played differently, uh, strategically, let me know what you would have done. Um, 
otherwise, if you made it this far, thank you again for, uh, for sticking with me. Um, if you, uh, if you're here, go ahead and subscribe and leave a like, I'd appreciate it. Um, and then I always uh, love getting comments and I'll, you know, I read them all and I'll, I'll comment back. Um, and I just would love to know what you think. Uh, so thanks for, uh, thanks for watching again. I've got two more of these sci-fi corporations in the coming weeks. Um, so, uh, stay tuned and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching table for one. Thank you.